What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And let's get into this conversation slash holy mess. And it went viral. Bishop Patrick Wooten going off on the Clark sisters, the gospel group, and Beyonce. Because one, Beyonce, who he's pretty much calling either calling her Satan or saying that she has sold her soul to Satan along with the Clark sisters and just calling out her new song church girl. He feels that it is sacrilege and blasphemy and all of these different things. And I just wanted to have a quick little conversation about this. So I'm going to play a couple of clips of his preaching his sermon and then we'll get into this i would love to play a clip of beyonce's song but i'm not even going to try to go there but i did of course listen to the song and i wanted to talk about what he had to say and to share my thoughts on the song and and get your thoughts on it i want to preach to you missionaries i want to preach to you elders i want to preach to you superintendents pastors and leaders We're called to speak up. We're called to say something. Beyonce just released sacrilege. The only thing I can account for some of this stuff is Somebody done sold their soul to the devil. Now, all I can say to you is this. When you sell your soul to the devil, you get the short end of the stick. Because you're not going to live but so long. And when you leave here, where you're going, you're going to be there forever. So it's not, it's not, it's not a good deal. I don't care what he gives you. But this piece of trash that's released yes, sir. and she named it church girl now i had thought to try to read the lyrics to you but i struggled to listen to them it's too bad it's too bad it's not for public consumption All right, so that is one clip, and then I'm going to play this next clip, and then we're going to get into this. Beyonce just released sacrilege. Yes, sir. The only thing I can account for some of this stuff is Somebody done sold their soul to the that's devil. That's it. That's it. Now, all I can say to you is this. When you sell your soul to the devil, you get the short end of the stick. Because you, you're not going to live but so long. And when you leave here, where you're going, you're going to be there forever. So it's not, it's not, it's not a good deal. I don't care what he gives you. But this piece of trash that's released and she named it church girl now i had thought to try to read the lyrics to you but i struggled to listen to them it's too bad it's too bad it's not for public consumption it would it would be a desecration if i read this it's too bad it's too bad it's not for public consumption it would it would be a desecration if i read this and uh i don't recommend it all right (laughs) let's let's just continue with this bishop patrick wooten i don't know anything about him look i've i've never been to a kojic church i don't but i know about the religious dogma. And and here's the thing that I just wanted to talk about briefly because I'm not going to make this a long conversation. What he did it, it 
it accomplished what he really wanted. Because if he was a true, what you would call man of God, that title that a lot of them like to use, Jesus was all about love. And listen, Beyonce never put herself out here to proclaim that she was the leader of a church choir, that she was a first lady, meaning married to a pastor of a church. Obviously, she is not. But she didn't lie. She is a church girl. She grew up in the church. That's what the term church girl really means. And to be 100% honest, if we are going to be that, what she was talking about in that song, even though she's, you know, she's a grown woman at this point, she's not a girl anymore. She's describing the way a lot of girls, young women who actually go to church feel the song. He, he's not getting the story behind the lyrics that he claims was so damnable that he couldn't even listen to them. He said, I, I struggled because I wanted to read the lyrics, but they were just too awful. It's not for public consumption. <laughs> it's like of all the music that he could be out here trashing and proclaiming is sacrilege. I don't, I, I'm more of an old school person. So I don't listen to, I don't, I don't listen to music like Cardi B's and stuff like that. Like I felt like, okay, maybe you need to be going after Cardi B. <laughs> if you really want to go there or maybe Megan Thee Stallion or some of these female rap artists and not even just the female rap artists, go after the guys because the music in terms of what is deemed as secular versus gospel, it's primarily dominated by men, just like the churches are. And in a lot of these churches, they don't even believe in women preachers. So he just sounds like somebody to me that is just really on that old, old landmark t um, type of thinking where, you know, the women are supposed to be seen and not heard. So the fact that a woman like Beyonce, who has a lot of power for what, you know, we would call it, he, he doesn't like it. So what would be better than to go after this woman talk about her in the sermon because he can relate it to the Clark sisters because they're in the Kojic religion, the Kojic church. How dare they allow Beyonce, this woman who has sold her soul to Satan, <laughs> to use their music, sample their music in her song, Church Girl. Are the Clark sisters perfect? No, they are not. Is anybody in any of these churches perfect? They absolutely are not. So the song Church Girl, from what I listen to it, when I listen to it, everybody can get something different from it. Some people can get the same things from it. I listen to the song. I love, I, you know, I like the beat of it. I get what she's saying. She's like, you know, I'm a church girl, but you know, I want to have fun. So this is what I'm doing when I'm out here having fun. If I'm out in the club or whatever, um, this is this is the way I'm doing it. But she's like, nobody can judge me. And this is exactly what he is doing, along with the amen corner and all of those people that were, you know, just amening everything that he was saying. So church girl, Bishop Patrick Wooten going out here to just say that she sold her soul to Satan I felt he if he if he really had good true intentions of being this so-called man of God that is out here to lead people to Christ, which is what I thought it was was all about, being saved the te the technical term for being saved is that when you believe that Jesus is the son of God and you have accepted that and you have asked him to forgive you, then you, you know, you confessed in your heart and you believe in your mouth that Jesus is the son of God, then you will be saved. It doesn't say anything about your actions. The actions that we take in life. Yeah. There are consequences for all of our actions, good and bad. But it's not for him or anybody else to judge somebody else on their actions to say that you're going to go to hell for that. Because then what is the point of even getting saved? So for him to say that she's not, 
did he grow up with her? Did he see if she ever accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and personal savior? Actually, from my recollection, from what I remember, I believe that she did. I don't know if she ever did in a dark booth somewhere or in a back corner say, you know what? I reject Jesus. I'm going to sell my soul to Satan so that I can get these riches and this fame and live this life. And there are a lot of people, especially in the church, who think that way, that believe that a lot of these big time elite artists in music, that's what they have done to gain a lot of ground. Now, look, I'm not going to say that a lot of, you know, things that may not be positive don't happen in the music industry because we definitely know that it does but not just the music industry that's just honestly it's not even just hollywood we know that hollywood has a lot of weirdness going on yes indeed a lot of stuff that we've heard about and a lot of stuff that we don't know about those of us that are not privy to be in that industry but that's just in life overall so we have the right to choose what we will indulge in what we will participate in and what we won't but it's really not for us to judge other people for the actions that they take in their own lives and so what he is doing is one of the main things that the bible says not to do as a pastor he is supposed to if he felt like he was compelled to preach to beyonce in some way or reach out to her to say look I've been praying for you and i feel like the lord is saying something i don't know i'm just saying that's just not the way to to do it. Do you really feel like you're going to reach her? You're damning somebody to hell. And that is, I don't believe that is what, if he was called to be a preacher, God ever intended for him or anybody to do. You're supposed to be there to really pray for them and pray that if you think they're in a dark place, that they will realize it, see the light, and they will come out of the darkness. But condemning somebody to hell because they did a song called church girl and they're talking about popping it and dropping it and and twirling that ass and all the other stuff i mean there's a whole lot of negative things going on in the church has been and still is and will continue to be and that is one of the reasons why in the bible it says that judgment will begin in the house of god because it's those people like the Bishop Patrick Wootens who are supposed to be these leaders who are supposedly called by God that are not really doing the work as it should be done. He's just sitting here up in the pulpit in his high place judging from behind the pulpit and hoping that his clip will go viral so that people will get more attention on his name, on his church, on his ministry, and he achieved what he wanted. Beyonce ain't thinking about that man. She is not paying him any attention. And the twink, Twinkie Clark who wrote this, um, the song um, Center of Thy Will, which is the song that she sampled for that song, and the Clark sisters, they ain't thinking about him either. All right? They, they are not. And so he needs to consider the manipulation that goes on in the church. That is more damnable than anything that Beyonce has sung in that song. Because the manipulation that goes on in the church and the mind games and the Kool-Aid drinking and all of that stuff that really just gets people to be in the state of zombie-like living, they're not living their lives. They're just existing because they're under the control and authority of these people like the Bishop Patrick Wootens who really don't care as much as they try to portray themselves about those who are attending the churches. He wants to get the attention. So what better thing to do than to have somebody record that, put it out on social media, and then it goes viral because of course, anybody attacking Beyonce <laughs> and that gains some traction, it's going to get attention. But Bishop, Beyonce is just telling the story of a lot of the chicks that go to your church or that are in the Kojic religion, ministry, churches, and not just the Kojic church. That's a lot of females that are up in these churches. That's the lives that they are living. Because one, I don't even want to say they're conflicted so much, but they're one, they're trying to live their lives. 
they go to these churches. A lot of them, they get married to men that are either on the down low or they're a cover up because they really don't want to be in a relationship with a woman. Because let's face it, there are more women and girls in these churches than there are men. So to be in a relationship with a man, a lot of them are going to go to the places where they can find the men that are really into them and they're going to be dropping it and popping it <laughs> and and doing all those things that they do when they're out in those specific places. They're not going to be out there with their, their long church choir robes on or their long skirts and, and stockings and flat shoes and, and buttoned up blouses. That's just not what they are doing. So you need to get that, that thought out of your head to think that these girls are are living lives like that and stop having them live double lives, allow them to be themselves, allow them to, I mean, just teach the freaking truth and stop having people live in a way where they feel like any little thing they do, they're going to be damned to hell because I don't even believe that. I just don't. Because if that's the case, then what is the point if you call it salvation and you say all you have to do is believe that Jesus is the son of God, confess with your mouth that you are a sinner and believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead and 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 all this other stuff, then you will be saved. But then every little thing you think and do that is bad after that, don't mess up or you're going to go to hell. Then it's like, well, what was the point of getting saved? There's so much lies and deception that are being taught in these churches. And unfortunately, he's one of them. I'm just being beautifully honest. So thank you so much for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And until the next time, this is Beth. And again, I'm just being beautifully honest. <laughs>